Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show, and I've got Tyler Ornstein on. Hey, Tyler, are you there? I'm here. Where are you? I'm, I'm in Arizona. My Jason. God, I've had so many people from Arizona. My, I just hired really? a coach for my affiliate marketing thing. He's from Arizona. Just talked to my best friend. He's thinking about getting a place in Arizona. I've had probably, I would say, five, six people in the last week all from Arizona. It's bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Arizona is growing by leaps and bounds because we're not uh, <laughs> come as you are in Arizona. You know, you can you can shoot your guns and, and do your other, you know, freedom. Freedom is a big uh, play in, in Arizona. And you don't you don't cut a piece of the rope and put it on the other end with the time zone thing. You stay in one spot. It just makes We stay sense. in one spot. We let people revolve around us. We don't revolve around people. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're the solar system, the sun. I get it. Arizona, <laughs> Arizona Suns, wasn't that the basketball team? Uh, Phoenix Suns. Phoenix. Well, that's Arizona, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Tyler, you look kind of young. You're married and got kids? Are you single, wild, no. crazy? What the? Uh, no, I'm not single. I have a beautiful, beautiful girlfriend, and we have a beautiful fur baby. See how you wise man too. You know this is being recorded, and she might see it. So playing it smart. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with her. She's a great. <laughs> she's an absolute wonderful person. Isn't that nice when you find one that resonates? I got one. Been married for like 10, 12 years, something like that. But I waited. Yeah, I mean, you have your curls, but the, the, at the end of the day, you kind of just you know, make a new and move on. But we get along really, really good. I just had an interview right before you about a person that has a personality pro or a behavioral profile. It's called the 12 shapes and everybody's got their own little thing. And if mm -hmm. you can learn to, you know, a triangle can fit with a square if you just kind of get along with each other, so. Yeah, if you shave the edges, right? Hey, what are you <laughs> drinking over there? <laughs> Tyler's acid-free coffee. Oh, I just got a regular cup. I know. I like the I coffee know. that we've got. My wife really likes it. It's a, it's a caribou thing. It's really, it's oh, a, yeah, I know it's caribou. really dark. Yeah, there we go. Caribou is a small rose. Where, where are you from? Sorry. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, wow. The caribou started here. Ooh, buddy. Uh, that's, 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 a, that's a rough city right now. I'm sorry. Cause it, well, because of the World Nerve Center and the headquarters of chaos? Yeah. Everybody's got their opinions, you know? These people, yeah. they just can't get along. I'm I one know. of these kind of guys, you know? Hey, me too, man. Me too. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to get too political on your show. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave it at, it's a shame that both sides have made decisions that, in my opinion, don't even correlate with the reality of what they're saying. Totally agree. They're arguing about to the death. It's crazy. I don't know what I don't know. They're, they're arguing argue. about stupid. So sorry, they're arguing about very, very important decisions and facts, but they're not aligning themselves with those decisions and facts. It's it's kind of like if I told you that the sky is purple and you told me, no, it, it, it's blue. And I said, no, it's purple. And you say, no, it's it's blue. It's because People have opinions, and, and I think sometimes the opinions are, uh, a good word would be manipulation, and manipulated into a different psyche than people really know what they're talking about. That's deep stuff, Tyler. We gotta have another conversation someday. But I'm, I'm a magician by a trade, guy. that's where the magic lounge thing comes in, so I understand yeah. the opinion thing because everything is a matter of perception. Like I, I say to people sometimes, what's more valuable, a hundred dollar bill or a glass of water? Right. Depends on, if it you're depends in the on your situation, yeah. yeah if you're in Arizona, if you're in the Sierra, <laughs> yeah, if you're in Arizona, you're gonna take that glass of water, it's gonna be worth a thousand. A cool glass of water, not a hot <laughs> cup of coffee. Well, you got both. Uh, yeah, you know, when it's 100 plus out, I walk around. This is attached to me. It's part of my body. You got to stay hydrated out there. Oh, God, yes. So let's get oh, into God. the business part of it, because I don't like to draw this sure. out too long with uh, That's fine. other stuff. But I'm on your time. You're in Arizona. You don't even do the time thing. 
<laughs> you got like a Chico time, like in Costa Rica. Speaking of Costa Rica, you got coffee there. Let's talk about that coffee because I saw in your cup it has your name on it, and mine's just a regular one. Although I do have this one here. Look, I got this other cup that says Magic on it. Maybe I like magic. that. I like that. Well, I found out that um, you can't put it in the microwave because this stuff is metallic and it starts sparking. Oh. Oh, well, you can order this at tylerscoffees.com and this will go in the microwave. Although I don't suggest you make coffee in the microwave. It's not a good, it's not a good look. No, we're using an espresso machine, but you use it to warm it up. Tell us yeah. about the coffee, Tyler, because I know that I, I read some of the stuff on you. You got your own coffee and I think that's pretty cool because, you know, for a while I was doing, um, I, I do affiliate marketing. I was representing some coffees. And there's sure. this one that they hyped all up and then I got it and it was basically, what do they call it? Arabica? Arabica? Arabica. Yeah. It was Arabica. Basic, it was just basic plain old. And I thought, I can't represent this stuff. It just, but it doesn't in do my it for studies, you. coffee is the, the second most consumed beverage in the world next to water. No, you're wrong. I'm wrong. It's a, yep. It's the second largest commodity in the world. It's a $1.1 trillion industry. What's consumed more than coffee? Other than oil. Oil is consumed? No, it's a, it's yeah, yeah. I would think. Yeah, okay. it's consumable. So, so petroleum products are the number one consumable product. Okay, I, I meant to. When I say, yeah. yes, you're not ingesting petroleum products. But <laughs> I'm the, not. There's a, there, well, you, no one should. Um, <laughs> But when I say consumable, it's a, it meaning that it, it is, it is right. a consumed product. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. And as far as commodities, it's, it's the second most next to oil. Yeah, it's, a lar it's the second largest commodity in the world. So as as it's a one- drink, drink, fluid drink, coffee, they, people, a lot of people drink it. Yes, yes. So there's 300 million cups drank each and every day in America. That's the population of America. So you say, well, that doesn't make sense. And you say, well, yeah, it does. Because on average, it's two to three cups per person. Yeah, and I use big cups too. Right, right. So, so let's, let's dive into that real quick. So coffee in its entirety is good for you. Um, it has antioxidants. It is a diuretic. Um, there's been many studies that say that it reduces uh, heart disease. But the one problem that coffee has is acidity. Now, what is acidity to the body? Well, acidity is inflammation. And if you have prone, GERD, icy, interstitial cystitis, leaky gut, heartburn, um, overactive bladder, peptic ulcers, you cannot have inflammatory in the GI tract. It's extraordinarily painful. And so when you do, um, when you bloom the tannic and lipid acids, that's when you get a inflammatory uh, process in the GI tract. We don't do that. With our proprietary Z roasting process, we do not bloom the tannic and lipid acids found in the roasting. Oh, sounds like science. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> very much so. Uh, lot, lots and lots and lots of uh, trial and error. Well, you, you used a lot of a lot of words in there, and it sounded like a lot of potential diseases that a person could have. So there's a lot of those things. So yes. one cup of coffee could have could uh, trigger all those different things or multiple. Absolutely. Things. So so the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation in North America did a research project, 2016, and they found that 50 million Americans suffer from stomach related issues. Um, that was again, 16. So if you want to just take a, an average, uh, it did not decrease. I can assure you that, um, our diets are very acidic in America. And so, uh, if you can look at a, maybe a 20 to 25% increase, you can really start to see that the market, uh, for acid free coffee is, is very, very, very needed. And we're the world's first and only acid free coffee. So We've, we've really niched out our market space. So do you have a little secret process that you use to make sure that doesn't happen or is that a secret? Yes, yeah, it, it, we, we tell people it's like Coca-Cola that we don't give out the, the trade secret. So it's a wise idea because as soon yeah. as you do, it gets duplicated and then you're not so unique anymore. So, so there's a lot How of long? low acid copies How long out there. How long 16 years. Oh, wow, so you've yeah. done your research. Yeah, yeah, so, so uh, Started door to door at 14 years old, 
um, on a bicycle. And then at 16, I went online. And that same year, we got our first retail grocery store in Arizona. Um, still with us. Love them. That's very really cool. You know, when I, I for a while, I, I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but we moved to Asheville, North Carolina to try something new. And there was a guy yeah. that had this coffee cart that he had custom built for him as like a bicycle. And he'd ride it into town every day and set up on the corner. And he was really, really, really into his coffee and the temperature and everything and how he was sure. doing it and whether it was dripped over cold ice or whatever. And he's very, very specific. And uh, so you did that there, when you were young. So there's a, there's a very interesting stigma behind cold brew and acidity. Um, so not to get too scientific here, but uh, pH is parts per hydrogen. And that's how it measures the pH. Um, when you reduce the temperature, you slow down the molecules of the hydrogen. And so that's why you ingest and it feels smoother. But the reality is you've already bloomed the tannic lipids in the roasting process. Now there's low acids out there. Um, they, were, they, they sit on our coattails. Um, we're, we're probably the oldest acid, well, we are the oldest acid-free coffee because we're the only first acid-free coffee. But there's been low acid coffees that have come out after us and they've tried to create smooth, um, non-bitter, um, I've tried them. I'm not really that impressed, but I can tell you that I'm also not biased. I, I do like good coffee. I just can't find a good coffee except for... Do you, do, you, do you have your stuff up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota? No, I don't believe so. Not retail. I, I mean, you can order it on Amazon. Sure. Um, but I don't believe in, in Minnesota. Well, maybe there's some grocery store hookups we can get you up there. We've got Cub, yeah. we've got Byerly's. We should carry that absolutely kind of very cool so do you do you then uh, get your own beans do you get them from costa rica or yep. vietnam or mexico or so all our coffee stuff? comes from a single source in chiapas mexico um we're usda certified and so we only work with one plantation they're very very exclusive um they're, they're small plantation but very good plantation um the other thing is is we screen our coffee to screen AAA uh, for coffee aficionados that are listening they'll, they'll understand what that means essentially is it has no deformities it has no um, you know warm holes it doesn't have cracked shells um, it, it's just the best so when we came out with Tyler's coffees we wanted to create the best like no hards barred the best okay. and we we have done that we believe i mean you can go look on amazon and walmart we have five star ratings we'll look on our google reviews with five star ratings. So we do, do have, have one different, do you have different roasting levels like dark roast no and roast? no just one, one single roast one single roast um we do we do have a, a problem with tyler's coffees is we're we're nicknamed the back ordered coffee because we have way too much demand and not enough supply <laughs> That's kind of a good thing, I think. Yeah, everyone tells me that. It everyone tells sense. me that. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, but it's a problem. But we're working on it. We're working on it. So how would you compare your coffee to Starbucks? Well, Starbucks, they, they, they're, they're nicknamed Charbucks for a reason. Um, they like to over roast their coffee. Some people like to have that very acidic, sharp bite coffee. And for that, I respect it. But if you really look at Starbucks, when you walk into a Starbucks, 90% of the orders are frappuccinos, macchinos. Yeah, uh, I call them foo -foo drinks. That coffee. It's, it's really more like a milkshake with a little coffee flavor in it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's sugar water with a splash of coffee in it. The reason I ask um, is I have a friend of mine that's very much an aficionado of, of things that are rare. Um, mm -hmm. He collects magic posters that are very rare, and he's a, he's a big fan of Starbucks. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why. I hope it's not because of the way that it's uh, charred. 
But i um, curious, because if you've got a coffee that's very rare, I'd like to introduce it to them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and that's how you grow the business. Um, we, we have grown by word of mouth mainly, and I think that's the best advertising. And w what I mean by that is we have customers that send us emails and say, you know, I, I bought coffee for Thanksgiving and I did a blind test and we brewed up your coffee and everyone loved it. And at the end I said, oh yeah, it's Tyler's acid-free coffee. There's this weird, you know, talk about like cult culture, um, collections, collectors and all that. Um, Tyler's Coffees is kind of in that same ballpark where we're not a mainstream product. We're not Folgers, we're not Starbucks, we're not um, Maxwell House. I mean, the, the brand is not a, a, a household name, I guess you could say. But what's cool about Tyler's Coffees is it's like a hush-hush name. It's a it's an underlier. It's a, oh, you don't know what Tyler's Coffees is? Ah, you like must not need to know. It's like a speaker. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's cool. Exactly. We got some places like that in Minneapolis, so some clubs that uh, you never know that they're there because you got to walk down an alley and turn by a dumpster mm -hmm. and look for the little red light, and that's where you go. Yeah. Down. <laughs> yeah and, and and i know we're gonna we're going to be a mass market pro i mean we're we already are practically a mass market product because we're moving you know god i don't know 20 20 to forty thousand units a month so it's about a thousand bags a day oh. um but it's still not it's <laughs> drop in the bucket uh compared to starbucks numbers but again, I don't think we're ever going to be the value prop of Starbucks because Starbucks is a mass market. They, well, sometimes they don't, you don't want to do that commodity type of stuff that everybody knows about it. Like, correct. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, the Golden Arches restaurant. No one's a good friend of the Golden Arches yeah. restaurant. I would rather go to some place that's some funky little mom and pop shop, you know. Do, yeah. do, you, have, do, you, are you, do you have like, um, is it just available online or do you have like shops? like coffee shops? We walked away from coffee shops. They are way too undercutty. You know, oh, that price is too high. Oh, are you going to give us the brew equipment? Oh, are you going to, you know, do the promotion for us? And I get it. we, we kind of walked away from that. How about, we said, how about you know more what? Or, or higher level? I heard of a place in uh, Santa Monica or something like that where they got some weird coffee that's like $75 a cup because it's some Holy cow. brew. They there is shit coffee. I call it shit coffee. Literally, um, that's the way that they do it. It's the beer. Yeah, coffee. I I would never drink it. I would never. I, I just mentally I couldn't drink something that was pooped. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry you to two get too, up with that. Sorry to get too uh, too graphic on your show, Robert but Clark, it's the that truth. Was good. Well, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. I guess yeah. uh, if this, just, just so you can say that you did it, but why would you tell anybody, right? I, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I, that's, not, that's not my thing. Yeah. Well, Tyler, I like to keep these kind of condensed so people have the opportunity to consume it all in a short period of time. There's that consume sure. word again. So could you tell us how do we get a hold of you in case we want to try this stuff out? And I want to maybe pass it on to my... My yeah. My yeah so so all you need to do is you can google acid free coffee where we, we we own that keyword uh or you can just go directly to our website that's tylerscoffees.com t-y-l-e-r-s-c-o-f-f-e-e-s.com -E -E okay. and you can use promo code tyler2020 that's undercase tyler t-y-l-e-r two zero two zero hey i will put this in the is that uh promo code gonna last a while or is it yeah expired it's gonna last till 2020 it's almost gone I know. i'm glad when it's over <laughs> we all will be glad when it's done we'll all be glad It'll i hope be the we have a nice thing. new year's celebration where everybody just comes together <laughs> i mean it, 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 you know we don't want to jinx it it can get worse. We sure as heck don't want to see that. I just stay out of the way, man. I'm in a Western suburb. You guys play your game, do your deal. Yeah. Anyways, Tyler, I appreciate you taking the time. Maybe we could do another one of these down the road if there's some kind of niche that we're getting into or if there's a new new launch or something that you're doing. I like doing yeah. these things. It, uh, it helps me and hopefully it helps you too because that's why we did it. So Absolutely. I appreciate you taking the time. 
What time is it at the, in Arizona right now? It's 11.25 here. Uh, it's 9.25. Holy smokes. I woke you up. Got you out of bed. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I, I right, usually bye. am up by six. <laughs> I'm an early riser too. Okay. Appreciate you taking the time, Tyler. Peace. Thanks. Thanks.